Hey Collective, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your midweek channel reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Collective, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Wait For You by Future featuring Thames. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, you guys know if you've been watching my recent videos, I have lately been guided to look up the artist's signs, like the sun signs specifically of the artist who, um, the songs that I channel. And the artist Future, he happens to be a Scorpio. And Thames happens to be a Gemini. So I feel like you could be dealing with someone who who sun sign a Scorpio or a Gemini, but also just the fact that she was a feature in this song, like she sings the hook of the song, and we are currently in Gemini season. I feel like something is coming about, like something is getting featured, okay, in Gemini season. Her birthday actually happens to be June 11th, so for some of you all, June 11th may be a very significant day, something very um, prominent may happen during this day, your birthday may be during this time, or... Like I said, something could be something could be coming to light during that time frame. It doesn't have to be that day specifically, but it did stand out because I I looked at his and I seen that his birthday, you know, I seen that he was a Scorpio, but I don't recall his birthday. But the sheer fact that, you know, I can remember hers when I looked at the information, something may happen either literally on June 11th or around that time frame, you know, starting from that time frame moving forward. But I feel like for a lot of you all, the message that I'm getting Again, because it's a strong emphasis on the fact that she's a feature in the song. Something is going to debut in your life, in your reality, okay, in Gemini season. Now, as I was meditating, I heard, you guys know I hear phrases and I'll, I'll get specific words or spirit animals and things like that. And I heard the phrase, of course they're pressed, you have something they want. So when I asked further about, you know, what was I supposed to relate with that message, I heard that you have charisma, you're charming, you have a divine presence. Okay, and I'm, we're going to touch on that in a minute, okay? You have a divine presence. For a lot of y'all, you have a divine presence surrounding you. And let me just go ahead and say it now because I'm channeling a lot of things that I don't want to miss out something that's very prominent for a lot of you all. I'm seeing orbs. Like some of you guys may see orbs around you. That's divine presence surrounding you. You all are shining right now. Your energy is very magnetic. You're attracting a lot of positivity towards you. And the orbs I'm seeing specifically are blue, like light blue orbs. So for some of you all, you may think you're kind of tweaking. And here's a disclaimer. I'm not telling you if you feel like something's going on with your health, not to check it. Make sure you take care of that. But I'm seeing like, you know how you see something out the side of your eye? Like if you're looking this way, but you'll see like something like shadow or something like that. I'm, I'm feeling like you guys are going to, a lot of you all will start seeing orbs. And that's the, that's spiritual presence, okay? You're seeing energy around you. You're seeing very divine energy. And because it's surrounding you, Typically, when stuff like that happens, where it's so physically visible, okay, and it's not just a spirit realm where you can kind of sense this around you, but you can physically see it, either A, you are going through a major upheaval, or B, you are going through a, a time where you're, re you're requiring this presence because you're getting ready to go into a different portal. And when I say portal, it's like you're shifting, and upheavals are not always negative. Yes, it feels heavy when you're in that moment, but what I'm getting, whenever you have upheavals, it's to, it's to clean stuff and move stuff out of your life. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you your cards. As soon as I picked up the deck so I could start shuffling to get into your pre-shuffle, you immediately had the tower, but you also had the star card as well. So it's like whatever this tower moment is or get, is getting ready to come into your life, for some of you all, it's already happened. And for others, it's like it's removing shit so that you can have the star. The star is wish fulfillment and healing. Now, also, I want to go back to the fact that, like I said, I've seen the tower at the very bottom of the deck. And the tower does resonate with the energy of Aries and Scorpio also. So something with Scorpio energy could be very prominent in your situation. Again, you can have strong Scorpio in your chart. Your person can have strong Scorpio in their chart. Or something could really play out in Scorpio season. And I know I'm doing this in June, but you guys know with the channel readings, these are timeless. Okay, so it's something that could, I feel like it's going to start now. But it's going to have a major return. And I'm hearing return. So whatever you start now, it's going to have a major return around Scorpio season, which is October, November. Okay? So I just want to put that out there. Now, going back to the, the messages that I heard, I heard fearlessness, courage, ambition, their love, and heart. 
So I'm picking up that you have somebody's heart or someone has your heart. And it's something about you all that's very, your ambition has put you in a position of being put in a different, you have a different title coming for you. For some of you all, a last name change because of marriage or some type of engagement. And then for others, it's, it has it definitely has to do with finances. Like you have pushed and persever persevered and you, you're, you're going to a different level. Because even now I'm seeing like jets and, and rockets. It's weird because I'm seeing like, I, I can't explain how I'm seeing it, but I'm seeing like a different variation of like woman is a jet and it's a rocket. And if, okay, thank you. So the message is a jet is fast, but a rocket is faster. So it's like, yeah, you were in jet mode. You were coasting, you were cruising, you were moving fast because you were going towards your goals or something is um, happening very quickly. But then it's like now something's about to accelerate, you know, it's only going up from here. And, I'm, and that's what I'm seeing. So even though tower, yes, the tower energy does seem menacing. It could be very chaotic. It's like whatever this tower moment is, it's going to happen very quickly. And it's going to allow you to expand and move forward very quickly as well, but in a positive way. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. Also, I have to put this out here. And this, this, of course, could be a personal opinion. But if you know Future as the artist, he has a reputation for being a, fu a funk boy. So some of you guys could be moving out of a situation where you were so connected or aligned with a fuck boy or a fuck girl. In other words, somebody who did not have your best interest at heart. They played games. They played mind games, heart games. Because I told you, I did hear their love and heart. That was like the last of the messages. So some of you all may have been trying to do everything you could to get their love or something about them, they weren't giving you their love and this person has always had your heart. I feel like you're healing, you're moving out of this. For some of you all, you are definitely going to be meeting new people. Again, because you did have major kind of stars, stars wish fulfillment and healing. So if you're wishing for companionship and loyalty with someone, you know, and it's an equal exchange of that, that's happening for a lot of you all. And if you felt like you have been going through a heartbreak forever, you're coming out of that. So let's check out what we got for you guys today. And I'm not going to change the cards at the top and the bottom right now because I want you to see the cards that I was talking about as soon as I picked up the deck. Like, I it, I knew not to shuffle because I'm like, okay, I see already that this is already aligned with what I was picking up. Because with the sun wait for you, I feel like the message also was that a lot of you all have been waiting for someone to change their ways or you may have been very patient. Also, as far as your money and finances, you have been talking to the universe, your spirit guys, like, look. I'm, I'm doing the work, I'm, my due diligence, I'm, I'm putting myself out here, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. When am I going to see a return? When am I going to see abundance? And they're saying, the wait, wait no longer. Because you guys also had the temperance card. Literally, the temperance card talks about patiently waiting for things to play out, um, tempering yourself, okay? Um, and also things balancing and healing. So that's what I'm saying. You had two strong cards of healing energy, and that's coming to you all. For a lot of you all, it's definitely going to play out in Gemini season, okay? So with this deck, we're going to go ahead and change the card at the top and bottom of the deck. I wasn't guided to look at this, so we can change that one. But I do want you guys to see the card at the very bottom of the deck, okay? Major Arcana Tower. Whenever you get Major Arcana, that's definite energy. You, you can't change that. It is what it is. It is what it must be. Right behind that, immediately... You have the tower. I mean, the um, temperance. Now, here's the thing. Check her out. They are facing each other. They may not be looking each other eye to eye, but they're facing each other. So it's like, also what I'm getting with this message is if you felt like you were literally sitting in flames, like everything around you was crumbling, everything around you was just all over the place and chaotic, they're saying the healing is here. Fire purges things. If you notice, there's a fire here, and she has water here, and she's looking at the fire. So what? This this whatever chaos you were going through, that fire, that chaos was actually a purging. Okay. You also have Sagittarius energy here. This could be your sun sign or something that happened in Sag season of last year. Sag season is November, December, and for some of you all, this also could be something that you have been waiting for is going to play out during that time frame. Also, again, I'm going to say this. The reading is timeless, so this can extend past that time, but I feel like even still, because we're getting a strong major kind of starting off, and remember, we are in Gemini season, that's the twins, and if you look right here, you only have two major arcanas, so that's the twins, it's giving me two major arcana energy, so that lets me know that this is going to play out, it's something is getting triggered, something is getting activated in Gemini season, and it's going to play out for the next couple of months, but it's not like all of a sudden it's just going to be this one blast of things, no, you guys are going to see the steps, you guys are going to see things evolving and going one step to the next, okay, throughout this journey. Because this is a journey. The card at the very back of the deck, 
five of cups, sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. I feel like that makes a lot of sense because you have the tower here, right? And with the tower, there's something that is unexpected. You don't have any control over when this tower moment is going to happen. And that's why you could be stressed out and overwhelmed. And you could definitely be in your feelings about it. Five of cups is definitely someone who is grieving or they feel like I fought like hell because he's a warrior. He has his arm, his arm, all of his armor on. Male or female, just put it how it applies to you. Uh, oh, and I just heard Georgia Peach. I'm just looking at this, and I never, you guys know, I always use this deck, but I never hear that. You see how you have the fruit there? I just heard Georgia Peach, so some of you guys could live in Georgia. Some of, some of you all can consider yourself a bit of a Southern Belle. Something with someone who may live in the South. If it's not you, it can apply to you. Some of you guys may be traveling, going to, um... Atlanta. I will actually be in Atlanta at the end of this month myself. So it's very interesting. But here's the thing with the five of cups, fives are always a, num a number in numerology that resonates with challenges and changes. So that makes a lot of sense when you have something that was unexpected. You didn't expect this change. So of course you'll be stressed out about it. Let's see what card is behind that. Yep. Ooh, you got two fives. Five plus five is ten. Here's the positive thing about that. When you come to the ten in numerology that talks about a cycle ending so if you felt heartbroken because this is your emotions and feelings if you felt five pentacles lack loss abandonment left out in the cold okay i feel like that's changing for a lot of you all also for some of you all you could have had a very difficult time in may because you got two fives here so last month could have been very difficult for you some of you guys are healing from something that happened in may also with your finances you could just feel overwhelmed like you don't know what to do with your finances also right behind here but i'm gonna tell you i can't make this up you got the star card wish fulfillment healing so you're healing your emotions are healing and i'm definitely getting heartbreak something with heartbreak is healing and then your finances are healing any card that a major arcana comes with it trumps it you got a major arcana and look at her and i didn't even intentionally put it in this direction but if you notice she's facing the five of pentacles she's facing the five of cups which means she's healing that and it's very interesting because you have two fives here and she just happens to have two vases so the universe is working something out behind the scenes so that something can heal. Water is purifying and detoxing. Okay? And I and, and this is Aquarius energy, so you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart also. But I'm going to say again, I, I keep getting a lot of energy about something happening possibly in a water sign season very prominently for a lot of you all. Specifically Scorpio. Because even though this is Aquarius, which is air, she is sitting in that huge body of water and she is pouring out water. And I want you to see how it has the glimmers. Okay? there so for a lot of you all this is going to be major healing that you're you're not going to be this is this shit right here it's a thing of the past you're not going to deal with this anymore they're healing this for good okay with major kind of energy it's, it's healing for good the time has come for that healing to happen okay so let's go ahead and look at that some of you and oh lord i should have said it i didn't say it let's see so i want you to look at this yourself but i was feeling it so i didn't say it because i didn't i wasn't getting it the most but if you notice right here, you see how she has her third eye is like shining. And then right here, it, it almost gives me the vibe of like the evil eye, right? Evil eye protection. For some of you all, you may need to protect yourself from other people's energy is what I'm getting. You may have to wash your hands. I'm hearing that right now. You may have to wash your hands of other people's energy. And I'm going to say that. And I feel like a lot of you all notice because as I parted the deck, you have the high priestess Piscean energy. But the high priestess is all knowing, all seeing. And she can sense that something is going on. And some of you all could possibly feel some impending changes, some impending shifts. And you're being guided to go to just go with the flow of it. Because it's already been predestined. She has a book here, which means it's already been written in the stars. It's already been written in the cosmos that this was going to happen. You or your person or someone who is very influential to the situation. First, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, M, H, W, and K. Okay. You got two major arcanas as I parted. So, and you see how she's floating right in the direction of tower. It's like they're telling you go with the flow because this is orchestrated in a way that is making room. Some of you guys could be holding on to some things that are blocking you from progression because it's safe, it's comfortable. And a lot of people do that. So there's no judgment here, but I'm telling you what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and shuffle. And I'm going to do, um, I am being guided to get the sun and the moon. So we'll do the sun and the moon. You guys know the moon is things hidden, things unknown, things you do not have clarity about. Also secrets, you know, fears. Also intuition. And we just had the high priestess. So intuition. A lot of you all are getting ready to head towards some winning. And I said this could happen this month. And you do have the six of wands. This is the sixth month. 
Okay, so there's some healing coming in for a lot of you all. Some type of victory could definitely involve a Leo also, or you could be a Leo. Okay, this is definitely a Leo card here. And then you do have Leo, Sag, and Aries. We just had Sag with the Temperance card, so it could definitely be something involving a fire sign. Also, if it's not involving a fire sign, because it doesn't have to be, but fiery energy talks about tenacity, vitality, action. And this is a very charming individual, as he can be as well. Again, flip the gender however it applies to you. And if you go back to what I was saying in the very beginning, I said charisma, charm, divine presence. He has a presence that everybody respects. He's very well revered. And he is in his armor, which means he's had to fight some battles. He's And he's literally going from fighting battles to sitting on that throne. And that's why I said for a lot of you all, okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm getting this message. Remember in the beginning, I heard, of course they're pressed. You have something they want. And then I was just mentioning with the star card that evil eye protection. Some of you guys may want to get like some evil eye protection. Talisman is a very powerful at warding away negative energy. Because for some of you all, you're going to be in a position of leadership. You're going to be in a position to be praised. You're going to have a lot of attention. You know, it's, it's going to be like you have a lot of, I'm not going to say competition because it's like there is no competition. But you do have people who are going to be jealous of you because you're expanding. You're moving forward. You're evolving. So some of you all may really want to wear like bracelets or something like that with the evil eye on it. I, and you guys know if you've if you've watched the channel before, I don't typically have this like this. But I was being guided to have the, um, for protection, to ward off negative energy. And you see, I was just literally shuffling through this. I'm telling you right now, a lot of you all, you may have some haters amongst you. They may seem like they're they're celebrating and happy for you because that's what these people are doing. They're cheering this person on. They're very happy celebrating this individual. But not everyone's going to be happy for you because you have something that they want. Either a new, their ex is your new person or there's something that has to do with a job. Because I always tell you guys, kings and queens are typically like, um, when we talk about employment, this could be a team lead, a supervisor, a manager, a CEO. Some, this is someone who people answer to. Because they put in the work and they, they got respect from the village. They've got respect from people around them. So that's what I'm getting also. Okay. So again, we're going to get the sun and the moon. Going back to the sun. The sun is a brand new day. Abundance. A brand new start. Enlightenment. Good health as well. So if you've been dealing with some situations with health, your health situation could be definitely changing. Yeah, things are moving forward for you in a, in a very accelerated rate. Okay. Now, also going back to what I was saying about the artist's future, and I said, you know, he has the the this reputation of being a fuck boy. The Knight of Wands definitely is a fuck boy. Okay, it's a positive and a challenging to all cards. Okay, the Knight of Wands is playboy, playgirl, here for a good time, not a long time, in and out, hot and cold. He has his face shield on, so we can't see what his intentions or motive is. But also on a more positive vibration, the Knight of Wands is someone who is like ready for war. Head to toe and armor, I'm ready. And things are about to take off quick. You see how the volcano has already exploded? So that's why I said for a lot of y'all, something's going to play out this month already. In Gemini season. Gemini season ends on the 21st. The 20th or the 21st of June. Okay. There's some brand Look, things are moving quickly at a very accelerated rate. Okay. You have the Ace of Wands. Aces are always brand new stars. And this is going to be something that you're very passionate about. Okay. And I'm also going to tell you, if you have been, literally your heart won't let you move on from someone, it could be because you and this person have very strong karmic ties. These red ties are always the red strings of fate, which is a karmic and I don't want to say slated, but it's a destined connection. Like even if you move on, even if this person moves on, you and this person may always feel each other's energy because the connection and the bond is just so strong. You may have had up to four lifetimes with this person in the past. You know, you have one, two, three, no, five for some of you all. Because all together, there's two here and there's one, two, three. So five. Ooh, also remember I was talking about that number five. You had two fives in the very beginning. Remember the five of pentacles and the five of cups. So something definitely happened possibly in May for a lot of you all. Some of you all may have met someone that you're very passionate about in May as well. Also, there's a, I'm hearing a passion um, project. Some of you guys started a project last month. And here's the thing. We also just, you know, we were in Mercury retrograde in May as well. And a lot of people say, don't start things, you know, don't start anything new 
during that time frame. But for a lot of people, it was a very positive time to start things because the juices were flowing. You were very creative at this time. You were thinking outside the box because Mercury is the mental. So a lot of you all who started projects, and I'm hearing, again, I'm hearing passion project, okay? Because you see how his hand is either receiving something or giving something. I feel like a lot of you all have something to give to the world. Because this is very spiritual energy here. Because that hand is coming out of clouds. It's not coming from a person's physical body. The universe. So either you have something that a spiritual gift that you can share with others. And you started this in May. Or you need to start something. It's time for you to change what you're doing. Because you have something to offer the universe. You have something to offer, you know, the collective, the masses. And it's of a very spiritual nature. It doesn't have to be like what I'm doing, like um, tarot readings and things like that. It could just be something like massage therapy. Like I'm looking at the hands because that's healing, healing modalities. It could be massage therapy. Um, you could be reaching out to people. You could be a humanitarian. Something could be triggering your humanitarian efforts or um, something coming in to you that will allow you to share and help others who are in need. I'm getting that also, okay? So I'm just going to tuck this in here randomly, change the card to the top and the bottom again, and then we'll get into it. Look, <laughs> can't make this up. Then I said, there's a lot of new stuff. Now, here's the thing. I want a card that comes before and comes after, and when I don't get it, I get the card that's on the back, okay? So you got the sun card. Right behind it, you have, yep, you, whoa. So you guys have had three fives already, five of swords now. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Five, Five, Five. So some of you guys are definitely seeing Five, Five, Five a lot. And as soon as I said that, the time is 21, 11. So you guys are definitely getting ready to see multiple numbers everywhere, like the number patterns. When you see this, and I say this all the time in videos, whenever you guys see this, pay attention to what you're doing, what you're thinking, how you're feeling in that time, because that's the universe trying to connect with you. They're trying to speak to you. A lot of you all are definitely going to have to cut off certain people in your life. And then also, I feel like I'm going to say again, some people may be hating on you because you destroyed the competition. If you are competing for a specific job title, you are the victorious one. And I'm going to say again, because you have swords, this is going to play out in Gemini season for a lot of you all. Some of you guys could definitely be finding out that you see six of wands. And I say you're going to be victorious. That's look, I can't say it anymore. Let's see what's at the back. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Sorrow, Sadness, and Grief. I'm going to say this again, just like I was saying earlier. Something is definitely happening in the Gemini season, okay? For sure. Now, I'm, with this, I'm definitely getting that either you, there's an ex of your person, your new person, especially if you're dating somebody new. This person is devastated. They're devastated and heartbroken. And for others, it could be that you could be finding out that someone that you were very in love with has moved on. Also, it could be an energy of realizing that this person isn't going to change and so you have to move on or you're going to stay in that heartbreak energy okay so let's go ahead and go through the deck and find the moon card look and i just we didn't it didn't take long to get wow we're getting all these double messages okay so i want you to see this this is insane so we just had the five of cups the five of swords the five of pentacles i want you guys to see this so you had a six of wands the six of swords the moon and then the six of cups are you looking at this six 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 so you have six 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 some of you guys can be dealing with a capricorn because in tarot six 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 is the devil card so you can be dealing with a capricorn also again there's changes and this is double triple because you got three sixes here confirmation that literally in june there's gonna be major shifts here it don't it, it doesn't get any better than this okay now also i'm gonna put this how it was also, we did just have that 666 portal, okay? Because if we are in a six year and then we had June 6th. That was a big portal. That's a big time frame. Next to 8 8, that is probably one of the highest energetically time, energetic times, okay? Or 1111 also. But that 66 portal, I felt myself very personally was very powerful, okay? And I feel like that energy is still lingering. And with that 66, I feel like there was a lot of forward movement for a lot of you all. You realize that something wasn't going to go the way that you wanted it to go, so it was time for you to move on. You may be doing this in secrecy, because if you notice here, she has her hood on. There's a moon right there. Again, moon talks about secrets. And that hood means something is hidden. Like, some of you all have made a final decision about something, and you didn't tell people. I want you also to look at how these cards are lining up. Look how powerful this is aligning up. So you get the five of swords and then right up under it you have the six of swords didn't i say progression things are moving up so you're no longer staying stagnant you have become very victorious in something that you were trying to excel at or something that you were trying to move away from for a lot of you i feel like it's heartbreak 
with someone that you have history with because you do have the three of swords with the six of cups that's someone that you have a soul tie soul connection with and i said that when we seen the ace of wands okay this is definitely someone you have history with in this lifetime or past lifetime right whatever the case a lot of you are evolving if you notice you see how you got the butterflies here that's evolution the butterflies were not born butterflies they were caterpillars and then they had to go through some shit in order for them to evolve and that's exactly what you all are doing also i'm going to say with this because i want you to see how this is on the table the six of swords is going towards the six of cups so some of you guys could be going towards some type of reconciliation because this is also a card of reconciliation but more than that, I feel like some of you guys, if it's not reconciliation with someone who broke your heart, it's definitely an energy of you guys moving towards someone who is a soulmate. There could be a new person coming into your reality, going from heartbreak to comfort with somebody who you feel like you can trust. It's going to be very abundant. I always mention how she has this rabbit almost on her lap. For some of you all, this, this connection, especially if it's a love union, it could result in pregnancy. Some of you all, if you also are thinking about reconnecting with someone, you can have children with this individual already. And if not, if that's not the case, it just seems like the universe is healing your heart and bringing you into a place of peace. They're sitting in a meadow full of beauty. They're surrounded by cups, which means fruition. Something is blossoming. And remember, I did mention Leo energy. Sunflowers is the Leo's um, flower. So for some of y'all, something could be happening in Leo season or involving a Leo person specifically, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords. This is one of the fastest knights in the deck. Again, I'm going to say, you guys have been through some things, okay? This, this, this energy is just all over the place. You guys have been through some things, and I'm going to say you're going to keep powering through it, and it's definitely going to be very present in Gemini season for sure, okay? I'm also hearing Aquarius because we did have um, Major Arcana Star. So Aquarius energy, very strong Aquarius but I feel like this will be a sun sign. As far as the forward movement, that's Gemini. Gemini season. You're going to be fighting through some things. Some of you guys also be very mindful about your communication with a loved one. Because I want you to see this. You have, and again, you see this in two different decks. You have a three of hearts. You see that heart? Look right here by the horse's ear. That's a little heart right there. So be mindful about what you say. Because the, the heart is by his ear. Be very careful about what you say to a loved one. Because it can incite some type of arguments or disagreements. Some type of, um, some, someone could be hurt because someone's words were very aggressive. Because again, knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. So someone could say something very aggressive. Be careful about that if, if you know that lately you have been on the edge. Because it could cause some chaos. Let's see what's up under here. Full card taking a leap of faith into something new. Aries, Aquarius. And remember, I was just saying Aquarius. Um, Aries, Aquarius energy. Could be sun, moon, rising. I'm just noticing how the sun is over his head. So somebody could have an Aquarius rising specifically. Also, don't be foolish with your words, okay? Or also, this could be the case that somebody may say something foolish to you, which could cause heartbreak, and then they're going to come back and try to have some type of reconciliation. I'm also hearing that somebody's going to say some hating ass shit. I'm just going to be real with you. Somebody's going to say something very hurtful. You know... If you were relying on someone to help you, like say for instance, because even with this horse, I'm, I'm hearing horsepower with like a car. If you were relying on someone to help you because your car is down or if you need a new car or something like that. And you were kind of depending on someone to help you get back and forth to work or whatever the case. I feel like now that they're seeing you move on and that's a very specific message, but now that they see that you're doing better, they have an issue with that. And they may be a little hostile. Again, that's specific, but I have to put that out there because I did hear it. Okay. So let's part the deck so we can shuffle. Wow, I want you to see this. Look at this. This is the only card that's flipped out like that. So that's definitely a part of the message also, okay? For sure. No other cards are flipped like that. Now, Three of Wands is looking towards the future. This future ship, you know, waiting for your ships to come in. Also, for some of you guys, because you do have these two threes now, and three plus three is six, again, more confirmation that something's going to happen this month. For some of you all, something is going to play out within the next three days. But it's going to make you happy. Okay? This is your second ace. You have the ace of wands in this deck. Now you have the ace of pentacles. Some type of big offer. I'm going to say this again. When it comes to your money, something that you were waiting for. Because he's waiting for something positive coming in. He's looking at the horizon. He's waiting for something to come in in the future. It's coming in. It is definitely coming in. Let's just tuck this in the deck. And then we're going to shuffle. So you guys got some positive stuff coming in for you. And it's very, it's going to, it's going to make you happy. 
abundance because pentacles talks about stability yeah yeah remember we started off the deck with the damn uh tower upright now you got to reverse so it's like and now you still have this upright even after i shuffled and look the hand is going in the direction of tower so something that you felt like oh my god this is horrible i can't believe this happening to me why am i always struggling why am i always fucked up it's because it wasn't meant for you if they didn't bring that tower down they couldn't offer you this the hand is coming out of the sky out of the clouds that's the universe it's like if, if this didn't come crashing down, you wouldn't be able to get this. Okay? So that's a definite energy. And I said that in the very beginning. Something else is meant to come into your reality. Also, with that being in reverse, some of you all could have been trying to fight, you know, some type of ending. You also now have major kind of judgment card and right next to it, the Knight of Wands. We had that earlier in this deck also, did we not? So something is moving very quickly. There could be a reconciliation. I'm going to say again, there's a reconciliation for some of you all. There's a lot of messages in here. So, of course, you would take the parts that apply to you. If you want to go, because I'm, I'm just going to show you. Let me put these here. Because, again, she's going towards this. So, if you want reconciliation with somebody, it's going to happen. You may not know the time and hour because you're right in the middle. You have the moon. But there's going to be reconciliation for some of you all. Some of you all, this person's coming in very quickly. Again, more Sag energy. Okay, last shuffle. Now you have the moon in reverse. And then major kind of the judgment card in reverse. Some of you all don't know that this, why this person ghosted you. Because I'm hearing somebody was ghosted. And some of you all don't know that this person may have some secrets that, you know, you don't quite know about. Again, remember I was saying earlier how she has this hood on, which means she's sneaking away. And then there's the moon behind her. And then if you look here, you have the moon in reverse. So that's, somebody has some secrets that they're not sharing that may block some type of reconciliation. But again, more than anything, you have two major arcanas here. So this is definitely, like, definitely going to happen. And for a lot of you, I'm going to say again, with all that six energy, May and June are very busy months. Very busy months indeed for a lot of people. If you are spiritual, which you have to be if you're watching tarot and you're checking into stuff like this, if you're spiritual or interested in spirituality and the metaphysics and things like that, it's like there's this is a time of awakening for a lot of you all. Between May and June were very prominent times for that for a lot of you all. Bottom of the whoo, third major arcana. You have the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Swords. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. The only thing you're missing is the Ace of Cups. There's four aces in every single deck. So I'm going to say again, something very powerful and positive is going to happen in Gemini season for a lot of you all. Gemini Libra Aquarius here. The Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and victory. So there's some type of victory. You see the crown right here. There's some type of victory coming in for a lot of you all. And, and you deserve it because you fought like hell. You fought through it. There also could have been two people in your life who were causing chaos and drama and you're heartbroken because you had to cut these people off. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I want you to notice you have the Five of Swords here and then you have two people, two who are, you know, in the background that somebody had to cut off. And of these three swords, you have two here at the bottom. So that's, you know, that's giving me an energy that there may have been two people in your life who are causing some type of hardship or some type of difficulty for a lot of you all. Okay. So again, bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. We're going to go ahead and do this roll first because it's the moon. Let's get the energy for the Six of Swords for the Collective. Let's get a clarify for the Six of Swords for the Collective. Again, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay. <laughs> death card in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, still the Ace of Swords. And you guys are watching me shuffle. So you have the Six of Swords being clarified by the death in reverse. And I want you to notice in reverse, he's facing the direction of Six of Swords. Uh, right, his back is facing it. Now, the death card again, yes, you guys definitely got something going on with Scorpio. Death card is Scorpio, okay? But then also more than anything, when you have death card because it's a certain energy, because it's major arcana, that's an ending. But the death is also a death and rebirth. Now, with this being in reverse, I'm going to say again, for somebody, they don't want to leave a situation. Somebody doesn't want something to end. So this is definitely giving me the vibe, especially because she's going towards the Six of Cups. For some of you all, the situation with someone that you thought was done and over, it's not done. Ooh, okay, so it's going back to the... Okay, if you've never heard the song Wait For You by Future, listen to that song. It's a very sentimental song. And that's exactly what it is. Like, this person say, I will wait for you. I, I've tried to move on. I want to move on. But I'll wait for you. I don't want this to end. This could be either you or your person. Also, this person is saying, like, I will wait for you and I, I will come towards you forever. Or I, I will have a, a forever place in my heart for you. 
as far as finances and employment, because I'm getting that also, you may have thought about leaving a place of employment. And, and and I say thought because the moon is by her head, so you may not be telling people and it looks like she's sneaking away. You may be applying for jobs and things like that. But something may happen that's going to make you happy at this place and you may decide not to leave. So we're going to see what we get with that also. Because there's still some type of victory here. Let's get a clarify for the Six of Cups. Six of Cups for the moon. Okay. So you have the the Knight of Cups, okay? Now the Knight of Cups, of course, he's on a horse. He's moving forward. This is a charmer, Prince Charming, Knight in Shining Armor, someone coming in to sweep you off your feet. You had it in reverse. Also, if you notice the, ho the horse's leg, he's moving forward. It's in reverse. So I'm going to say again, for some of you all, and this is how these clarifiers look on the table. They're going the same direction. If you thought you were going to move on away from someone, that's not going to happen. Or at least this or this person can't move on from you. They don't want to give their cup to anyone else. They want reconciliation with you. Because again, even as I'm talking, I'm literally hearing the hook of the song wait for you over and over again. Again, it's in the description box below the song. Just click the link and it'll take you directly to the video. I'll see about the final lyric video. If not, then you just have to sit and kind of, you know, listen to what he's saying. Now, don't listen verbatim and, and take his wording because, you know, he's a rapper. So he's going to say all types of bullshit. But... Pick up on the energy. That's what I'm telling you to do. Pick up on the energy because you have two cards, cups. That's the emotions. Pick up on how it makes you feel, how it resonates with you on an emotional level. With this six of cups, I'm going to tell you right now, somebody definitely wants a reconciliation, but someone may not accept it because upside down, that cup is being empty. Like all my feelings for you is done. So I'm going to say again, for a lot of you all, you're healing. And then for others, it's like you don't want to give your cup to someone else or your person. Whomever you think about immediately when I'm saying this, they don't want to move on or they don't want you to move on. They may be brokenhearted now. Surprise, surprise. Bottom of the deck, again, you keep getting this. You've had this quite a bit in this deck. You have the Six of Wands. I'm telling you, that somebody's coming back towards you. You have so much Six Energy that's not funny. Six of Swords, Six of Cups. You had the Six of Wands multiple times in the last pre-shuffle. So this is, gonna, this is something that's going to play out in definitely in June for a lot of you all. And, but it's going to be victory. It's going to be positive. Whether you're moving away from someone, it's positive because you're moving away from heartbreak. Whether you're moving on to a new place of employment, it's going to be positive because it's like you're going to have a position of leadership. Or, you know, even if you don't become a supervisor or someone that people have to answer to, but I am getting that you are. It could be that you are definitely being seen like people acknowledge you for your work. They feel like you are a very competent worker and then also I, i'm very strongly getting the energy of some of you all becoming entrepreneurs and if you are an entrepreneur already and you already had something in motion it looks like by the end of june you're definitely going to have you know people are going to be seeing you you are going to be very well seen very well respected for what you do let's get a clarify for the five of swords okay you have too many flip out but i do want to look at it so you have the hair final reverse taurus energy and then you have the two of cups in reverse this is definitely talking about love that's why i said somebody somebody that you loved or someone that you had love for you're cutting out definitely with that at the end for sure and i remember i was saying the energy and it's interesting because we're getting ready to do the road for five this is taurus taurus season is april may and I, I was saying from the very beginning something with may something triggered in may roman numeral v is five you, there's disagreements here because the two of cups is an equal exchange. They're on the same page, same plan, you know, field emotionally because cups is the emotional feelings. You got it in reverse. I'm going to keep shuffling because the way they flipped out, it, it's not making me feel as though, you know, that's the card. I feel like those are overlying energies. Bottom of the day, I'm telling you, I knew it. You got it again. Six of swords. Some of y'all definitely have a child or children with this person and you were trying to make things work out because this same card, but look, look at the difference. There's one person, this is someone going it alone and then there's a family moving together. So I'm telling you right now, somebody wants to reconcile with their family, bring their family back together. And remember even what I was saying right here, okay? You got those two people out. It's just one of her. You're going from the five because now we're clarifying the five, the five to the six. It's like, Somebody may have also caused a breakup of a family. Because they just had to win at all costs is what I'm getting. Let's get a clarify for the five of swords. Connected to the sun. Okay. And I knew it was meant for this to come out like that. So you got the moon. Absolutely. The sun and the moon. For some of you all, you felt like this person was your, your divine counterpart, your better half. 
And you have the King of Pentacles that flipped out also, but this is your first card. But the King of Pentacles is someone who's stable. So some of you all felt like you, you had a very stable situation with this person, but then they did some shit that was sneaky or something that they didn't think you would find out about and you did. Also, I'm going to say again, this does tie to finances because the King of Pentacles could be a team leader, supervisor, or manager. I feel like somebody's considering you because you see how he's looking at this pinnacle like he's going to offer it. Somebody's considering to give you some type of position. I really feel like for a lot of you all, when it comes to money, you are you're beating out the competition because you have one, two, three entities here. And it's just like, you see how they're all howling at the moon like they want this position. But I feel like you all are beating this person out. Also, I'm going to say again, entrepreneurs, if there was fears... Because you see how the moon is looking kind of down and his face, his eyes are closed. If you have fears, like people may have talked to you or said, well, if you quit your job and do this, you might not be successful. If you did that, da, 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 you know, negative naysayers. I feel like you need to cut those people out of your circle and emerge. You know, you see how the lobster is coming out of the water. It's like water is the emotions. Come out of that fear. Some of you all, this could definitely be that you just had naysayers who were telling you that, oh, this will be expensive or or. How do you feel like this is going to work or that? The same thing with me. Like when I started tarot, I had like close family members who were telling me like, oh, how do you know you're going to make money from that? And, you know, things like that. And it's just kind of like whatever you do and whatever you're passionate about, the universe will attract people to you who believe in what you do. They will they will send your tribe in your direction. So when you are in fear based energy, you're going to you're going to hold that energy around you and it's going to repel the things that are supposed to come towards you. And I feel like a lot of you all are emerging, coming out of that emotional state of feeling like, okay, things aren't going to work. This isn't right. This is wrong. You know, that's why I'm getting there. Bottom of the deck, tower again. You guys have had this. I told you in the beginning, you guys have had the tower so many times. So this is definitely what it is. Something has to come crashing down so that you can emerge gracefully. He's not worried about them goddamn wolves. They can demolish him, but he just knows that I also have a strength too. I, I have a purpose. And a lot of you all know something has a purpose. And it's getting ready to play out. I, I really feel like it's going to play out this month. Okay? The tower, something is definitely coming down. And again, I'm going to say Aries Scorpio. Strong Scorpio energy since the very beginning of your reading. You got the death card here, Scorpio. Something Scorpio person or Scorpio season. Again, Scorpio season is October, November. This could have been past Scorpio season. But for a lot of you all, this is going to be coming up this year. Let's get a clarify for the Three of Swords. Three, ooh, three of Swords. Absolutely. Five of Pentacles. And we had this earlier too, right? Five of Pentacles. Lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. It's in reverse. So if you were feeling heartbroken and devastated like the universe forgot all about you when you were trying to get your finances together, look at that. You are reflecting on that and that's done. That's done and that's over. Because upright, you're still in that energy in reverse and you're coming out of that. Okay, so when it comes to your finances, if you felt like, oh, damn, I could every time I apply for something, I'm not getting a job. I don't have the qualifications. That's over. And also when it comes to love, okay, because if you notice up, right, they both are tattered, with really worn their clothes are, they have been beat down. You've been through something where you have been through many, many years, five plus years possibly with this person of just drama or things just weren't playing out the way that you wanted it to in matters of the heart. And that's why you were so heartbroken. You're coming out of that. For some of you all, you may have been in love with someone for five years and you're realizing like, because she's facing the three of swords. Now she's realizing like, they're both facing it actually. They're realizing like, I have to come out of this. I have to walk away. I have to move out of this. I can't keep being in this energy. I'm going to go back to saying what I was telling you earlier. Something definitely played out in May for a lot of you all. Somebody had an aha moment and they realized that this heartbreak, they were definitely holding on to it subconsciously. And that was feeding it because this is also the subconscious thoughts, you know, and, and it was holding on and it, it was making that heartbreak linger. I want you also to notice that you have the moon here twice, right? Piscean energy. It also does connect with cancer. So we did have a lot of sixes also. You have six and six and one. The last six happens to be cups. So for some of you all cancer season specifically. Something is going to linger from, you know, cancer season is directly after Gemini. Okay, cancer season starts at the end of um, June. So, like I said, this is going to be ongoing because even here she's moving forward. So, this is going to be ongoing into the future. Very strong Gemini and now cancer energy because you have five, five, five here. So, like, I'm going to say this again. Some of you guys don't see a lot of fives. Five, 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 six, six, six. I've been seeing five, five, five a lot also. I'm going to tell you right now for a fact, when you see that five, 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 there's definitely changes, okay? Massive changes that are happening for you. But the changes are going to be positive. 
It's not going to lead you into lack. Upright, this is going towards lack or trying to come out of lack, but you're still in it. In reverse, you're coming out of lack. Lack as far as love, lack as far as healing, lack as far as money. You're coming out of that. Especially financial stuff, you know. And then again, I'm going to say because you have three of swords, matters of the heart. You're, you're coming out of that. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. You have the emperor in reverse. Some of you guys could definitely have separated from someone that you consider a divine counterpart. Um, you could be going through some type of divorce. You have Aries energy here. Some type of separation with someone that you have a long-standing history with. Something very solid and secure. Like you guys share a home, some type of domestic situation together. You could be coming out of that. Also, somebody could be abusing their power. I'm also going to say, because the emperor is sitting on his throne, he refuses to relinquish his throne, which is his power. In reverse, some of you guys could have, especially with work, you can have someone who is stepping down from their position. And you may want to go ahead and apply to it. Because I always notice he's holding that pinnacle. So with this being in reverse, somebody could be retiring because he does look like an older gentleman. Somebody can be retiring. And you may want to go ahead and swoop on and slide on in there and apply for that position. Because it looks like some of you all may feel like you, you're not qualified. I really feel like I disagree. I disagree. I feel like you want to go ahead and go for it. Because I feel like during this time, you got the juice. You definitely want to do it in June. For a lot of y'all, June is a major time. June resonates with the energy of Venus. June also does connect with finances as well. Beauty, finances, domestic situations, and love. Because six in numerology, in tarot, I mean, it is the lover's card. And that's, that's love, choices, decisions. So you may want to go ahead. I feel like this month will be a very positive month. This last row tells me right here. Six, six, yeah. June is going to be a very positive time for a lot of you all to make some moves. So go ahead and do it right now. Because it does look like somebody is stepping down from their position and you could be getting that position. And also with that being in reverse, if you were fighting for some type of divorce, because this could be divorce also, because if you notice she's walking away and he's chasing behind her. If you were going through divorce or some type of domestic situation where someone was not trying to allow you to leave with any finances or something that you are rightfully deserving of or something that you you know you have a part of and legally you are entitled to it looks like it's going to go in your favor because it does look like somebody was trying to fight things and trying to keep you from getting something but mm -mm, they don't have say so on that because the universe is clearing clearing paths for you for that is what i'm getting also okay so thank you so much collective for watching queen air benetero until next time i'm going to ask that you continue to like share and subscribe bye